Do you want to get rich quick? Then buy a lottery ticket and hope for the best. If you want to get rich for sure, you have to provide either a product or service of value. I've spent the past 10 years of my life trying many different ways of making money online. And by far, the quickest and easiest way that I have found is by selling on eBay. And I've helped hundreds of people make thousands of dollars every single month. So if you want more money so you can buy more toys, buy a nice house, or quit that dreaded 9 till 5, then click the link down below and I'll show you how. Guys, so in this video, we're going to be taking out this Banggood special great big RC monster truck. Last time we used it, it broke early on. This piece here broke and the draft shafts fell out. So we sorted it out. And in this video, we're going to put it through its paces and see how good it really is. And guys, we take our durability testing to a whole new level. So make sure you watch this video to the end so you can find out how. All right, here we are on location. Over there is zombified. So we're gonna have to have a little play around here and over there. <laughs> now, where is the wheel nut? <laughs> Bang good wins! Wheelie bar to the side of the head. <laughs> Hello! Oh, nearly! <laughs> Footage! Alright, so next! We're going to be doing something a little bit fun. Oh, I got the whole crew in the house. Uh -huh. Yeah, they'll come to watch. <laughs> Hang on, he's scared of the virus. What's he doing now? Ah, not today. But I've got to stick my GoPro mount underneath. <laughs> You've got to try and drive in between the wheels, but not get it run over. <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing a legitimate review on it. If I run it over, they probably won't send me any more cars. <laughs> Billy's got to get in and out of the wheels and not get it run over. But you know stuff always goes wrong on our channel, so it's probably going to end up getting run over.
знаю. I reckon drive over it gently, get the back wheel on it, then the wheel spin it. Oh, fuck the wheel spin. It might shoot it backwards. <laughs> Really impressed with it. It still moves. Yeah. Oh, it's still going. Oh, don't crash it, dude. Sorry. Don't ruin it, dude. Oh, don't ruin it. <laughs> Guys, I cannot believe it's still going. So we're going to chuck on another wheel, and we're going to take it back out and see what more punishment we can give it. This thing just does not want to die. The only reason it lost drive. Is it because the wheel's missing? Put a wheel back on there, guys. It's going to go again. So we do have some damage going on. Bent steering. But all in all, guys, it's not that bad. So all we've got to do is get a spare wheel back on there. And then we're going to be back in action. Round number two. Oh, we're back in action, boys. Done. Well, hold on though. <laughs> oh, you might not be dead. Oh, we're done. Only got the shafts out. Man, she's done well. <laughs> Even after all that, it still, it still moves. <laughs> Guys, my mind is absolutely blown. How much punishment? this thing has taken. I honestly do not think that there's many RC cars that would still work after we chucked this sort of amount of abuse at it. So we've got some bent shock towers, we've got a busted diff case, broken arm, broken bumper. Now one criticism that I did at first have is that it's difficult to get hold of spare parts, but I found a solution. So the ZD Racing Pirates 3 is actually the same car. And although when you're searching for parts online, not really much comes up, but inside the instruction manual for the ZD Racing Pirates 3, there are all the part numbers for all the parts. So I'm just gonna hold that there for any of you guys that it could help. Pause the video, find the part that you need, and then you'll get the part number from there.
And then, once you've got the number, what you want to do is head over to Google, just type in ZD Racing, followed by the part number, and a whole load of stuff comes up. You can get parts from Banggood, Amazon, eBay, Gearbest, AliExpress. So we just click on the first link here for the Banggood. So there we go, lower arms. And I, don't, I actually need a set of those for this one because I kind of feel a little bit bad for this now. I mean, I thought it was a little bit of junk really to start with. And now that I've actually used it, I'm actually really impressed by it, and I think I owe it to it to get it working again. But look at the price of the parts. I mean, that is so cheap. I mean, for what these things cost, you get so much car. So let's try another random part. So we've got the diff case. So we type in ZD Racing 8025, hit enter, and boom. Oh, come on, computer. Boom. So there we go. Click on the first link. Bang good. And there we go. There's the diff case. £5.75. We're looking at around about 6 or $7. Guys, I'm going to stop waffling now. I'm not normally one to big up products. I normally make the video and let you guys make up your own mind. I, I can't believe that this even still works. I mean, even look at the chassis. It is still relatively straight. I mean, I think it's bent a bit more on the front here. So don't forget, guys, if you want to know where you can get this car from, I'm going to put a link to it down below.